Hello everyone and welcome back to another t uh, t uh, well player of the week review. We have Jota, Kunde and Openda as their main target. And Openda was beast in, in the previous couple of uh, I think weeks or months. So start off with Jota. A prolific winger but you can play him as a center forward and secondary striker and I would actually advise you to use him like that. He has decent low pass. Ball control during tight possession is great, finishing is great, uh, speed and acceleration great, kicking power great, great addition to any Division 1 squads. He has double touch, flip flat, cut turn, soul control, heading, cheap shot control, acrobatic finishing, first time shot, gamemanship and track back. The track back skill card will deplete a little bit of his stamina, so you need to use actually the counter target on him. So you don't use him. Downside is standard form, so you can only play him when he is BNA rated. Next up we have the new goalkeeping legend of Milan, Magnan. Avenis 85, catching 81, deflection 78. That means that more rebounds are going to go to the opponent than actually going outside of the pitch or anywhere else on the pitch. The, the reflex is 90 and reach 85, jumping 79, but he has great height, so he is going to be able to reach those uh, goals that are uh, players trying to uh, reach. Uh, unwavering form, so you can play him even when he is C rated. Next up, we have Raspadori who I believe mainly was secondary striker and center forward. Now we have him as a prolific winger as well. Ball control driven type possession is good, low pass is decent, finishing could be slightly better, kicking power needs to be at least 80 but okay. Uh, speed and acceleration, so mainly he is a secondary striker or flanker, depends on how you play the formations, I would advise you to use him as a secondary striker because well, mainly as a primary striker, he doesn't have that uh, good kicking power. So that's the off-putting side. Rising shot, first time, one-time shot, one-touch pass, uh, game and ship, track back, and super sub. Great addition to any Division 1 squad as well. So that's first time shot. Now I, I see it. Lee Kang in, whole player. Great. Speed decent, acceleration exceptional, offensive end is great, ball control driven tight possession great as well, uh, low pass and lofted pass great, finishing good for a secondary striker or advanced midfielder, and yeah, I would actually use him on advanced midfielder position mainly because on center midfielder he lacks a little bit more of defensive awareness, but as a as an advanced midfielder, he who he would be perfect on that position. With kicking power, balance, stamina and everything, he is going to be beast on that position. Double touch, Marseille turn, soul control, first time shot, one touch pass, through passing, pinpoint crossing, outside curl, low lofted pass and track back. Again, track back, you need to use counter target so you don't ple deplete his stamina quickly. So yeah, standard form, so you can play him only when he is BN rated form. Murphy, prolific winger or flanker, and particularly I will use him as a flanker, as the backup option uh, to Division 1 and mainly he is a star player for Division 1 and Division 2. S sorry, 4 star uh, teams. Ball control driven type possession is good, low pass and lofted passes is great, finishing is good, uh, speed and acceleration are, are great and kicking power is decent. As I said, backup for Division 1 plays and star player for Division 2 and 4 star teams. Double touch, cut, turn, long range curl, knuckle shot, rising shot, long range shooting, uh, first time shot, ping point crossing, outside curl and game and ship. Next up we have Openda. He is a uh, poacher. Dribbling type possession could be slightly better. Low pass is good. Finishing could be better than this, and kicking power needs to be above 80. So yeah, he is decent backup for the well, decent backup for Division One, but star player for Division Two and four star teams because of everything else that he has. Season faint, flip flap, cheap shot control, first time shot, one a penalty specialist, gamemanship, track back, and super sub. Again, 
he has the problems but when you are going to use him as a super sub there is no need for counter target on him next up we have kunde defensive fullback defensive awareness great exceptional for the fullback so basically no one is going to be able to uh, outpace you and um, out struggle you because physical contact and jumping for the fullbacks are actually great so yeah uh, low pass and lofted pass could be slightly better ball control driven type possession is good heading is good so yeah kunde is a great as a fullback you can play him as a center back as well so good addition to any division one squads as a uh, skill set he has soul control heading man marking interception blocker air superiority sliding tackle acclimatic credence and fighting spirit great addition to any division one squads whatsoever unwavering form as well kamavinga defensive full Defensive fullback Kamavinga. Uh, this is something new. Uh, you can use him as a center, center midfielder and defensive midfielder. Those are his primary. He's slow for full, fullback, but probably he will do the job. But mainly I will use him as a center midfielder and defensive midfielder on that position. Ball control driven type possession, great passing, great uh, finish. It could be slightly better. Kicking power is decent. Defensive awareness is great for the for centre midfielder. So I will mainly use him on that position as well. Double touch, mass eight turn, chop turn, soul control, acrobatic finishing, first type pass, uh, one touch pass, weighted pass, track back, interception, and sliding tackle. Standard form, so you can only use him when he is being rated. Next up, we have Pablo Fornales has great set of skills for actually advanced midfielder not for the flankers because well decent he's decent uh, as a defensive wise but doesn't have the speed and acceleration for the flanks so for the flanks you need to have at least 80 speed and 82 acceleration that is the ballpark for the flankers to be uh, prominent in in the in the match so yeah uh, low pass great Driven in tight possession, great finishing, decent, kicking power, decent, perfect for the advanced midfielder position. So yeah, I would advise you to use him on that position as well. Double touch, soul control, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, first one touch pass, uh, first time shot, through passing, outside curve, no look pass, and super sub. Great addition to any division one squad because of the super sub trait as well. The standard card, so you can use him when he is B and C rated because of the super sub trait. Next up, we have Luke de Jong, and he has ball control driven type possession, decent for a target man. Low pass, also good for a, a target man, because honestly, with his height and everything, he is actually a target man, even though the card says poacher. Heading and finishing, great. Kicking power, decent. Could be better, but decent. Speed and acceleration are slightly worse, but yeah, he is there for you to target him in the mid and he needs to drop the balls down so you can spread them around and everything so good addition to any division one squad as a backup i wouldn't use him as a first team player because of the speed and because he has super sub trade card he will be a good beast in the second half as a target man solely as a target man heading cheap shot control dipping shot acrobatic finishing first time shot track back area superiority are the traits that he has I believe he is, uh, let me check, but I believe he is standard form as well. So, yeah, you can use him when he is C, B, and A. And last up, we have Otamendi, destroyer. Decent defensive awareness, great for Division 2, but decent for Division 1 as a backup. Speed and acceleration could be better. Speed on 75, acceleration on 70, but nevertheless, we can take it like this. Kicking power, decent jumping and then physical contact, also decent. But yeah, he needs to be a little bit more agile than this. Heading, one time shot, first time shot, man marking, interception, blockers, area superiority, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance, a capitancy, and fighting spirit. So yeah, all the traits that are great. He's on wavering form. But mainly I would use him as a backup in Division 1 and star player for Division 2 and for star teams. So yeah guys, thank you for watching, thank you for being a lovely audience, and we're going to see each other in the next videos. 
I'm live on uh, every Tuesday and Wednesday, 21.30 CT. M much more are going to be on my Twitch channel as well. Uh, all the links are going to be down below. If you like this, like, share and subscribe so I can grow. And we are going to see each other in the next videos. Bye-bye, everyone.